Hi, my name is Heather, and today we're going to chat about color modes for your Amazon KDP children's book. Lately, I've had a ton of questions on what color mode to illustrate your Amazon KDP children's book in, so I thought that would be a great opportunity for a video. First, I'm going to give you just a little explanation of the colors that are available in the color modes. The CMYK color mode includes only the colors that you could actually print with, and then the RGB color mode is the colors that a monitor can display. So these include the colors that are in CMYK, but it also has more more colors because it's some colors that can be displayed on a monitor and those are usually like brighter more vibrant colors so anything that you have in CMYK is also available in RGB but there are some colors in RGB that are not available in CMYK so that's why if you're designing for everything you can just use CMYK because that can be converted to RGB with no issues but converting back the other way can be hard because you might have some colors in your artwork that just don't exist in CMYK. So I hope that makes sense, but now I'm gonna tell you your actual options depending on your plans for your book. I've definitely been lazy about my own color modes. I don't wanna say that I've always planned very well with my color modes and you know sometimes I don't even pay attention, but you know things just turn out okay but sometimes they don't turn out okay, like especially if I'm printing from my home printer. It might look weird and then I realize, oh, I have to convert to CMYK and kind of like fix some of those colors. So even though I'm lazy sometimes, if you wanna do things the right way from the beginning, then I'm gonna tell you how to do that. If you're only designing an ebook, then you can just design in sRGB which is the standard RGB mode that is used for most screens. So it'll look the same on most screens. If you're creating only a print book, then you want to use CMYK because that's what's used for printing. If you're doing both a print book and an ebook, then you would want to use CMYK. And then for the ebook, you can just convert it to sRGB. And that way they should look pretty much close to the same on both mediums. Now, the next thing is what if you've already designed your book and it's all in RGB? Then you'll just want to convert it to CMYK, so that way you'll just have a little more control over what it's gonna look like. If you just send it off to Amazon in RGB and then they convert to CMYK, you don't really know what processes they're using and you don't know it might end up looking weird when it gets printed out. In order to do that, if you use Photoshop, then it's really easy. You just open up your document and then you just go to image, color mode, CMYK. And then it's gonna ask if you wanna flatten your layers, if it's an actual Photoshop document where you have like the text in a layer and the other stuff in different layers. So you can just say no, don't flatten it. And then it'll just convert each layer to CMYK. And then if you see that some colors might look a little dull or something like that, then you can just go in and adjust them. If you're using Procreate to create your children's book, Procreate does not have the ability to convert from RGB to CMYK, at least not as of the creation of this video. So one thing you can do is export your file and then you can use Affinity Photo to convert it to CMYK. Affinity Photo is $21.99. Once you've downloaded it, you can just open up your image, click the file icon, convert document, and at the bottom, change the color space to CMYK. So that's about it for color modes. I hope this was helpful. If anything wasn't clear, or if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments, or you can always email me at heather at heathercash.com. And please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it and then I'll know to make more videos like this. Good luck creating and thanks so much for watching. Bye!